hello hello and welcome back to google zone games we're back yet again with another game review video on dice streams by superplay are you guys excited because i so am so without wasting any more time let's roll okay so before we jump straight to the gameplay i would like to mention how i discovered this app a few days ago and instantly fell in love with the super cute animations and graphics the landing page as in the product page the google play was more than attractive enough to convince me to install and give this game a try and seriously you guys honestly speaking i was not disappointed at all yes the feature graphic and images were super good and pretty convincing but the gameplay and the characters are the two key things that sold the game to me seriously Anyways, the overall yellow theme and cute little PNs are so captivating that you just can't get enough of them. As soon as you open the game, a loading screen pops up, a very adorable loading screen might I add. And then it takes you straight to a nicely animated cutscene. So the gameplay is basically about restoring a number of destroyed royal kingdoms by rolling the dice and earning coins to buy and upgrade properties. This might give you a bit of monopoly feels, only way more cuter okay so this game is multi-featured i don't know if that's a word but as long as you guys get my point we're cool so as i was saying before this game has a lot of features to keep you hooked and engaged first is dice rolls number one and the most obvious is rolling the dice you basically have to restore five to eight buildings in one kingdom before finishing a chapter and how are you going to do that it's pretty simple as soon as you start the very first level you are given a dice a few cards a rolling mat and some free dice rolls to get you going you have to roll those dices and earn coins through which you can buy and upgrade all of your properties as i said earlier and each chapter has a few missions that you have to complete for the level and overall game progression Feature number two is the dice itself. Yes, it has four sides. Each one is obviously different, having coins, shields, free dices, a jackpot, and a bonus side, which are either the cards with a question mark printed on them, orangish or peachish, I don't know, cartoon character, which is super cute, by the way. And what do you do with these cards and what do they contain? This brings us to our very third and most thrilling and exciting feature, which is the command to steal attack or fight yes you can visit other participants kingdoms like the real participants and steal their treasure attack one of their properties or have a fight with one of their peons oh wait did i tell you guys about the peons who guard our kingdoms oh my god those are the cutest creatures alive like literally i cannot put enough emphasis on their cuteness straight facts guys straight facts Anyways, before I slide deeper into my emotional flow, let's bring our focus back to the gameplay features. In an attack, you select a property of that kingdom and then you use a slingshot to pull and release your toon character who lands on the selected property and ta-da, attack successful. Next up is Steal. In Steal, you are told to steal a certain amount for which you go to someone else's kingdom same as an attack and roll their dices on their rolling mat which means that you're basically rolling free dices and you know you have to be a bit careful because here's the tricky part you have to make sure as to not land on the bomb side because then there will be a blast and you will have to escape with whatever amount of treasure you have collected thus far next up is fight in a fight, when I first discovered this feature after, I think, restoring maybe four kingdoms, four or five, I guess, I thought that this must be something violent and, you know, like involving punches, cutthroats and kicks. But guess what? The fight between the peons was rather, how do I put it, interesting. Rock, paper and scissors. Yes, can you guys believe this? There are multiple rewards on a spinning board and the winner gets whatever the needle lands on like coins, dice, etc. Next up, we have the cutest, cutest, cutest and I cannot put enough emphasis on it, cutest feature which is interaction with the peons. 
Yes, you can interact with those cuties by tapping on them. Each tap brings a diabetically sweet reaction. <laughs> and no surprise here, this is my favorite part. And there's another cool feature in this game, which is the revenge feature. Yes, you receive notifications for if and when someone has stolen from you with their name, of course. So when you go to randomly attack another kingdom, there's a small revenge option at the top center of the screen. And when you tap on it, you will be shown a list of people who have been like, you know, who have either stolen from you or attacked on your kingdom. And then you can go to their kingdom and take revenge. Simple. Okay, so I have to introduce this feature now. Guys, this is adorably evil yet very useful feature that I purposely left out initially. When you roll the dice, if all three of them land on a shield, you are rewarded with a shield to protect your kingdom from being attacked. Cool, right? Like three shields can protect one attack against your kingdom, which is super cute. So if somebody comes to attack on your kingdom, you know, like take your treasure or something, there's going to be a shield that's going to block their attack and they won't be able to steal from you. For every progression you make during levels and chapters, you get new and upgraded stickers. Stickers that include attack, fight and steal stickers. And the characters etched on them are also upgraded. Characters as in the peons. You can check your sticker collection from the store and you get rewarded once you've collected the given amount. Given amount as in the one that is set that you are going to steal from somebody else's kingdom. The rewards. Here we have the reward system in this game, which is like extremely abundant. Like literally there is this never ending chain of coins, jackpots and free dice that you keep getting along with new stickers. This is extremely exciting. Moreover, you also get free dice rolls, meaning you can roll the dice without the number of dice decreasing. And at a time you have the option to have five dice rolls and guess what? Oh my god, how could I forget this? You can double, triple, quintuple and octuple your reward and even increase it to 10 times but that obviously comes with level progression. The only sort of uh, drawback I would say is that your dice will be deducted accordingly. Like if your reward is 5 times then 5 dice will be used from your personal dice stack. Next up is we have social media connections. Uh, this is obvious you can sync your Facebook account with the game and play with your friends and when any of your Facebook contacts join Dice Dreams, you get notified. Like I play this game with my siblings all the time. Next is in-app purchases and events. Of course like every other game, this game also has a lot of in-app purchases to offer and they have so many ongoing events most of the time which is a great chance for the users to earn some extra bonuses and rewards. The animations and graphics are noteworthy, yes, as I have mentioned before, but the sounds are not much behind because the background music is supreme. The voice of the beings is super adorable as well as the open environment sound which is like in a way very calming. Everything is pretty well articulated and synchronized and this may sound like a biased point of view but when you play this game then you will know that I wasn't lying. Seriously. They are working on more updates and I did experience a minor bug in the gameplay but thankfully it was resolved after I left a thorough review on Google Play Store. Anyways, this was it for today's video. If you liked it and have already played this game, let us know your thoughts in the comments, leave a thumbs up and if you haven't already, kindly subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more. Until next time.